So, we are an hour and 20 minutes away from Glencoe. Uh, we just passed Glasgow. Stopped for coffee. The weather at the minute is glorious. However, it has been torrential at times. So, no idea what weather we're going to have over the next few days. But, uh, yeah, onward bound now. So, I'm down here on water's edge, just shooting these rocks in front of me with the lock behind and then the hills behind that on the other side of the water. I'm shooting at F11, focusing on the rocks in front of me and shot a speed of about half a second, which is just long enough to get that beautiful sky in focus. So if I just pan up, you can see that sky, which is absolutely amazing. So it's half past ten, end of day one, um, amazing day, amazing day. First time that I've ever been to Glencoe and it has just blown me away. Um, the weather, as you can probably hear, has been on and off, shall we say. Uh, it's just started raining a little bit now. Um, all I'm going to do now is back up today's images um, and then get some sleep. Not getting up too early tomorrow um, after having a long day today. I'm going to look at going down into the Lost Valley tomorrow and then on Saturday, on Saturday, I look at possibly getting up high and seeing, uh, seeing what views I can find. So I shall see you tomorrow. Good 
guys so it's Friday morning uh, it's five to six it didn't stop raining all night I've had a terrible night's sleep however all that has been forgiven because that is my tent and when I opened that this morning that was my view I've had worse views in the morning. So, I'm gonna get some breakfast, get showered, get changed, and uh, head out to the Lost Valley. When you're setting off on a walk and the view looks like this, you know it's going to be a good walk. Okay, so I'm currently photographing this stunning waterfall. I'm shooting at f11 at one tenth of a second, so slowing down that water just a little bit, getting a bit of motion in it. But this is absolutely stunning. So, the view on the way back down is just as good as the view on the way back up. And if I zoom, just down there is a road and that's where my car is. That is a long way down. Every single road that I go down, the view is like this. Just mountains everywhere. Also, this road that I'm on now is the road from Skyfall. So, having driven all the way down to the end of the road from Skyfall, I'm now next to Loch Etive. So, 
driven through Glenative and now at Lockative and the view obviously is stunning and it's a good job it's stunning because we've come all the way down this road and it's a dead end so you're gonna to have to go all the way back not that that's particularly a bad thing so spin round you can see the camera setup that we've got so we're looking out over here and if this will focus there you go we can see again focusing on the rocks down at the bottom F11 an 80th of a second ISO 100 and there you are very quiet but there's a herd of deer literally just to the side of the road being very quiet so I don't disturb them but they are stunning
So, all showered and changed. It's amazing how good a shower can feel after a day like today. Um, gonna have an early one tonight. I'm gonna try and get up before sunrise in the morning. So, gonna go and find a pub, have some food, have a drink, then bed. See you in the morning. So, sunrise on day four. It's not as light as this camera would make you think. It's two minutes past five and that car that's just gone past is the first one that I've seen on the drive up here. It's very cold. I've no idea if you'll be able to hear me or not so I'm going to speak up but three or four hours sleep up at half four walking over horrible ground so worth it so worth it look at this there's just me and the deer absolutely stunning So, that's it, four days. Just put the tent away, just having final brew, and then uh, heading off home. Away from this magical place. Sad to be going, but I can uh, safely say that I will definitely